G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I will be giving you my entire finals predictions for the NRL 2023 final series. So we'll start with the qualifying and elimination finals, move on to the semifinals, go to the preliminary finals, and then show you my prediction for who I think will be in the grand final and who I think will win the grand final. All right, now I, I just want to apologize to you guys because I said I'd get this out by uh, 7 a.m. this morning. Unfortunately, uh, things just didn't work that way yesterday and I couldn't record this one until today. So I will be dropping this at 5 p.m. this afternoon and you guys will get plenty more NRL content over the next few days. So very excited to uh, get this one done for you guys. And uh, I guess without further ado, let's jump in and see who I'm backing. So if you've watched my tipping video, you know that I'm tipping the, the Storm, Panthers, Sharks, and Knights. But let's talk about it a little bit, little bit more. We're going to go into a little bit of depth with each of these picks. I won't sit here and take up too much of your time, but yeah, we'll talk each round. I'm hoping for about... Maybe a 12-minute video max. All right, so Broncos and Storm. Obviously, I've tipped Storm in this one. I'm going to say by four points. Now, I know a lot of people, uh, you know, they're saying this Broncos side is different to the ones that have played before. And you know, you know what? I agree. I, they, they definitely are. But, you know, you, you can't look away from the fact that Melbourne have won the last 14 games against the Broncos. Every side has a team that, you know, regardless of how well they're going, they some, somehow struggle against. It's like the Panthers with the Eels. Or the Tigers as well. The, you know, the Panthers, they lost to the Tigers this year. We've seen the Tigers upset the Panthers on a few occasions. So it, teams like that, I think this is the Broncos one, is definitely the Melbourne Storm. Look, this is one of the game of the rounds. Like They're all realistically game of the rounds, but I think the Storm Broncos and the Sharks Roosters, are, they're the hardest ones to pick, in my opinion. So I'm going to say Storm win this one by four points. Again, guys, my voice is still pretty croaky from uh, cheering on my boys this uh, last weekend. But, yeah, please just go with me on it. <laughs> All right, so Storm win that one. I think it'll be a very sh a very small margin, I'm saying, by four points. Next up, we've got the Panthers of Blue Bet against the Warriors. Obviously, I'm jumping on the Warriors bandwagon, but I just cannot see them winning this one. Not against a uh, practically full-strength Panthers side minus... Jerome Luai um, at home. It's just it's going to be too tough, too tough for the Warriors to win. I think Panthers get the job done there at Blue Bet. I think they will win. I've tipped them one to twelve. I think it will be on a high, on the higher end of a one to twelve. So we're going a twelve point margin there. Panthers uh, move past the Warriors. All right. Next up, we've got the Sharks against the Roosters. Look, I'm on the Sharks bandwagon in this game because I desperately want the Sharks to flog the Roosters out of the finals. Uh, but I do think this one is is arguably the hardest one to pick. The Roosters, all bias aside, are coming into the finals on red-hot form. Uh, I think it was six weeks ago they were sitting in 14th and they've just gone straight up the ladder. So credit to them. Uh, you know, they deserve to be there. It, it is what it is. They deserve to be there 100%. But I do believe Cronulla can beat them. I think it will be the tightest game of the round. I'm tipping the Sharkies by two points at Points Bet Stadium. You know, they're going to get their home crowd around the Sharkies, and I think the Sharks will win this one. So, unfortunately, Roosters fans, I do see you guys uh, getting knocked out in the first round. However, you know, credit to you guys. You deserve to be there. As much as it hurts me to say that, I'm being honest, you guys deserve to be there. So, yeah, I do think you guys do get knocked out, but... You've done amazing. You have done an amazing job. 100% deserve to be there. And, uh, yeah, you made us look like fools, that's for sure. So, yeah, I do think Cronulla win that one, though. And then finally, we've got the Knights and the Raiders. This one will be played at McDonald Jones Stadium. I think the Knights win this, and I'm going to say by... I'll say by about 24 points. I really do think they dominate the Raiders in this one. Raiders are literally the only team there, in my opinion, making up numbers. Any other team... On their day, can win the comp. I definitely do not think the Raiders can. So Raiders, you're gone in the first week. Knights move on. Uh, yeah, Knights have won six out of the last ten games against the Raiders, and they have been when they do play. It's generally pretty close. But I just think these are two completely different teams. Raiders are 
going into the finals. Not on a losing streak, but not they haven't been playing well. And the, the Knights have won nine in a row. So I just, I cannot see a world where the Raiders win this one. So finals week one is done. Uh, Storm, Panthers, Warriors, Sharks, and Knights all winning. So that means f- the semifinals will be the Warriors versus the Knights, Broncos versus Cronulla. So that will be a very interesting uh, lineup there. Um if I'm being completely honest with you, I am going to be one of those boring guys that picks the top four sides because, being honest, I think the Warriors will be too good there for the Knights. At home, I think they will they will be too good. However, I can definitely see a world where the Knights win. Uh, I'm in a group chat with a few lads, and I said to them, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a Knights-Panthers grand final. However, I just over, over in New Zealand, I don't know if the Knights will be good enough to win that, and it is very hard to keep a win streak going. If they get to this, that'll be 10 in a row, and that is a huge, huge feat for any NRL side. The Knights, you know, if they bow out in the semifinals, I think the Knights fans should be extremely proud of how well they've gone. I just think that the Warriors at home will be too strong. Uh, Broncos and Sharks in the next semifinal. Oh, look, it's pretty obvious the Broncos The Broncos are one of the form teams in the comp. And when you look at it um, on form, every side in the top four has won four of their last five games, which is, you know, that's good going into finals. It definitely is good. So, uh, yeah, look, I think the Warriors and the Broncos will be the two sides to move on to the prelims. Knights and Sharks fans, you know, you can be proud of your boys, but they're out. That's my opinion there. All right, so we are on to the preliminary finals now where the Penrith Panthers and the Brisbane Broncos. The Broncos uh, did beat the Panthers earlier on in the year. I believe it was 13-12. Very entertaining game of footy there. And Storm and the Warriors. Now, Storm, I believe, actually have a pretty good record against the Warriors. And playing them at at home, it'll be a tough ask for the Warriors. It really will. Uh, so... Let's talk game by game. Panthers and Broncos. I I generally think this game could go either way. I really do. I think it will be a very close game. Uh, you know, it's obviously going to be played at uh, the Panthers' home ground there up uh, up in Penrith. Um, Blue Bet, I believe it's called. I get Blue Bet and Points Bet confused all the time. Um, so yeah, I think it's tough. It is really tough. Like Panthers coming off. You know, a week off, that's that's going to do them good. It really is. Although well, sometimes it doesn't. But I think Panthers win that. I think Panthers win this one. I just can't see the Broncos doing it. I cannot see the Broncos. <sighs> Can I? Luai will probably be back for that game, I'd assume. It's definitely a game either side can win. I am really on the fence about it. But I am pretty sure Penrith win that one. And then the next one, I do think Storm beat the Warriors, unfortunately. Um, would love the Warriors to continue on and go through and get another, uh, get into another grand final. I think it would be extremely great to see, but I just cannot see it happening. I think Storm at home would be way too good and they move on to the grand final, in my opinion. So we are, we are here. We've got the grand final. It is the 2020 rematch. Panthers versus Storm, very entertaining game of football, in my opinion. I think it would it will go down to the wire once again. I believe 2020 was 26 to 20. Uh, do correct me if I'm wrong there, but I think this one will be a, a very low scoring affair. I'd say something like 15, 14, or something like that. But I think uh, I think the three peat is real. I really do. I cannot see a world where Penrith do not three peat. Um, Normally when these two teams play, it is generally pretty close. And I definitely think Storm could cause an upset, but I am I think Panthers win it. I think Panthers win the grand final. That is my tip there, Panthers, to, uh, to get it done, to get the three-peat done. And I would say this is arguably the best side we have seen in the NRL era. I don't see any side coming close to this side. It's incredible. They've, if they get to this grand final... That'll be four grand finals in a row that they've gotten to. 2020, 2021, 22, and 23. So that is just, that's a huge, huge 
thing in itself, like credit to them. But yeah, guys, let me know your picks in the comments. Do you think someone outside of the top four could win it for once? Or do you think it will stay within these four teams? I realistically think that these four teams will be there for the prelims. But uh, yeah, look, I, I do think the Knights are probably the only chance outside of the top four that could win it. I generally could see them uh, making it to the grand final. You know, they've, they've upset Storm this year. They, they've they beaten a lot of good teams. They've competed with a lot of good teams. So I generally do think they can do it. But outside of that, I don't think uh, I don't think it's anybody else's. I think that top five is where it's at. I don't see any of the other teams really challenging for it. But guys, let me know in the comments who you'd pick to win the grand final. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.